Okay, one of the biggest requests I get all the time is people want to see my office space. So, most of you know, if you are a crafter, that a lot of the times your office space isn't clean enough. It's not that it's dirty, it's just often in a state of being used. Um, but last night I had my um, larger demonstrator team um, over for a shoebox swap. So while it's not clean, it's not, mm, it's not as messy as it sometimes is. Not messy. Sometimes it's messy, like after camp and I carry everything up and it's um, a busy weekend. And it's also a little bit sunny. It's supposed to rain, so I'm going to try to get this done quickly. There's my office assistant. She loves to be in here. You can see she has water. She has her own little um, throne. Mind you, she prefers not to sit on that. She prefers to sit someplace um, where she can be. So I'm going to kind of walk you around in here while it's not, um, I mean, it's a little cluttered, but not horribly. And you know, I just, it's, I think it's a small space. I know if you don't have any space, then you'll look at it and you'll think it's large. It's all a matter of perspective. Um, but I'm just going to walk you through and I'm going to also, if you go over to my blog, I will have pictures of my table. People often ask me what my work surface is in my video. As you can see, it is a table. Um, it's not paper. It's not cardboard. People think it's often <coughs> just a fake surface that I'm working on. It's not. It's real. Um, but I will show you over on my blog how we did that. Um, I've located... Um, when we did it, you know, when you're remodeling, taking pictures, unless that's what you do, um, remodel and take pictures. Hey, Sib, she wonders who I'm talking to. Um, then taking pictures in the midst of a giant remodel. My room, before we did this a couple of years ago, maybe it's coming on three years now, maybe two, I don't know. Um, it was yellow and it was stamped with some of the cottage row stamps. So it was very trendy when we did it, but you know, trends change. But when your office is in state of a huge disrepair, taking pictures is really the last thing on your mind. So you can see, um, there's our family room down below. And when we bought the house, my daughter and I watched my nieces, they were young. Um, and so we had the option to have slats here to oversee. And all you could envision at the time, were the girls dropping things through the slats. So we opted to have a um, wall put in here. And so with this last remodel, there's my second office helper. Um, my husband added these built-ins into my the wall so I could stick my stamps <coughs> in there. I only keep in this room what is current. So as you just heard, I do have two rooms. My daughter's recently moved out maybe permanently um she is a teacher and she's also a demonstrator so she's moved to downtown indy where all the trendy kids live so we're in the suburb she's downtown um so in what was formerly the toy room is now my ebay slash all retired stuff um so these are just my current stamp sets that way i know i don't have to think about it i know these are current as soon as a catalog is finished then i take them to the other room where I can um, sell them on eBay or put them on, hopefully I'm gonna have a website where on my blog, a page. Then in here, this is scrapbooking stuff. It's um, Project Life, which we don't have anymore, but I do have those for scrapbooking. You know, scrapbooking, memory keeping has a level of guilt to it. So if you see down, I don't know if I can, yeah, yeah. Down here, um, I have started just getting the black leather albums from Stampin' Up! And then when I have just, when I have extra hostess dollars on the order, I just get the page protectors. And then I just have started putting, especially pictures of our trips, into those albums. And that is, and then as time goes, we're sitting watching TV, or if I have time, I just put the pictures in there. Here are some of the old albums. Um, you know, and oh, it pains me to look at them sometimes, but mm, because they, um, 
our memories of some of, as you can see, 1999. There are some old albums from a long time ago and you can see the stamps on them. So it is what it is. So as much as I would like to change those, I have not. There, um, because we've used my table last night and people were up here. We had people on in my dining room, my kitchen, and up in my office. So there are my brand new lights. I've only had those for a couple of weeks and I've only used them a couple of times because it's still summer enough that I'm able to um, still film with the daylight. But as it starts getting darker earlier, um, there is my tripod. People ask what I film on. My husband stuck this up there. I don't have one of the ones that needs your iPad connected to it because my iPad broke a couple of years ago. And while I miss it dearly, I can't really afford one right now. So um, I don't have one. This wall my husband did is um, the brick siding from Lowe's and it comes orange or a terracotta color. And he did, um, when I went to Salt Lake one year for on stage, he was home doing this for me. So that was a really nice treat. And actually we got to Salt Lake that year. And if you remember, if you're a demonstrator, we got there and they had this exact wall as the backdrops for our selfies and things. They had painted it straight white, but it was funny because I sent him the pictures and I'm like, you could paint it straight white, but it's not really what I wanted. I liked the um, more rustic look. So then this is an old library cabinet. My husband was a facilities manager at a job, one of his former jobs. He's also in IT. So he was half ID, half facilities. Um, on top, I keep a lot of the things for the staging of my pictures and in the drawers, there's a lot of pictures and then a lot of the smaller staging. I would like to get to the point when I put up my holiday decorations that I keep some of the smaller things. So when I take pictures of my cards, that I already have. You can see up here I've got some of my, um, like my, well, she's getting ready for when I start to post um, some stuff for all, while we're in Orlando. I've got some of my Thanksgiving stuff back there, some other Thanksgiving stuff. So I keep the small stuff in here. Um, there's some more Disney stuff. So I would like to get Right now, it's like hide and seek. It's a memory game of me trying to remember what's in what drawer. So, you know, it's good for the memories. Um, this is just memorabilia. It's got, it's just some of my fun stuff. And this is a lot of pens. I got more pens over here. Then this is my work table. Um, it was, this was also from where, where my husband used to work. They moved to Washington, D.C. It was a think tank. Um, and it was a long time ago, so we had the option to move with them or to stay in Indy, and we stayed. But when they moved, um, they left a lot of furniture. So this was a brown work table, and it had been a work table in its former life, but it was brown. Um, and he painted it white for me, and we just dressed it. I had it in my office when my office was yellow, and it was brown. Um, and that was way before the days of YouTube, so the brown was fine. Um, you can see the color that was here, but I wanted it to look like a farmhouse table. So it was a brown flat top table and it was gashed, um, which was fine for the look. And so then we measured these slats into it and we just cut those. So these are fake slats and it was a flat top table and we just cut the slats into it to make it look like it was a slatted table. So you could probably, it's heavy, it's a heavy, heavy table, but it did have pretty legs. So it had all that, all of my chairs, um, including my cat throne. All of those are from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Home Goods, um, as along with all of my things that are pretty, which I have a lot more of my staging things, you know, that you see in the videos. A lot of those are also in my eBay room. I keep those so I can switch them out. Um, but they're good for holding a lot of my different things in here. Also from Home Goods, I keep my blocks, which when I have my projects getting ready for camps, I keep them in these buckets. Um, so I have to have lots of blocks. So I just have access to blocks. Then my husband made me um, the blends. This one is actually my daughter's, but she doesn't have room for it at her apartment right now. And when we first came out with blends, you know, we had about this many, so he made it that big. Um, and now 
when I all of my when I have all of my blends not in projects because you can see there's some here there's some over in the buckets when I have all of my blends then I need more than one so I asked my daughter if I could borrow hers until she needs it um, so that's that then I know before a lot of you have seen on my well I'll show you this over here this is my cutting station there's my bubby and there's my pool which is often calling my name it's a swim spa it's not really a pool we call it a pool but it is a swim spot a swim spa so it's heated year-round so you know it calls my name year-round there's nothing better than being out there in the summer with the heaters not on because you can float only well, like three people can float in it at once but we can swim in it year-round and there's it's the best when it's um snowing and you're in it so this is where i cut my paper this ends up being the biggest mess and you know my cats there's nothing that brings them more glee to hop up on all of these surfaces and just knock stuff on the floor him especially so while i'm cutting paper that's why it's in this um stampin up box here because he just loves to hop up here and all of the pieces that have not been put back up um he just knocks off i will show you this is where i put all of the pieces of you can see the pieces that are half cut and then white and vanilla and shimmer because you know i use shimmer more than white and vanilla those are um, Shimmer's my favorite color. He's going to go investigate. He literally can open that up and take pieces of paper out. He steals my scissors. Yeah, see? He will just take it and I find stuff all over the house. So then this is my office. I do have the world's largest monitor, which I'm getting ready to do some um, YouTube training with my downline. So it comes in handy when you be able to sit over here and be able to see everything you're doing over here. Right, this is, I'm not going to post this until I'm in Orlando on vacation, which you can see is coming up. Um, but right now I have no internet, so I'm still, I'm using my laptop. Um, this is our family map. And we cross off places that we've been. So I really wanted to go to Greece. I got close, but one of my downlines is going to Greece, so I can live vicariously through her. We actually have family property in Slovenia so it's close and we have friends who um, own property that also own property and ha have a house in Sicily so we had hoped that maybe if we got to Greece that we could um, go here's more I have so many bags because every time you go to a Stampin' Up! event you get a bag and you know I have a hard time throwing them away so I keep them all they're also in my EV room but then this is where most of my Stampin' Up! stuff is. Let me get far away. Um, this right here are my gold baskets. And it's where, it's a lot of stuff. It's, you know, where you put your stuff. Um, and I hate them because they always look messy and there's just no way around it. So I've seen some plastic that looks like lace and I may try those, but I don't know. But this, my husband did, my mom gave me, you know, back when everybody had giant TVs and you had a giant TV cabinet. So this, my husband made. And down there is a lot of more scrapbooking stuff, more pictures, more albums, more, you know, projects that you've made that you can't bring yourself to throw away. But here are dies. And this swing is open, and then you can see there's embossing powders, my embossing guns, my ribbons. These are a few of the stamps that we've had over time that I um, keep because I use often. Um, my ink spots, my heat gun, um, things that all my ribbons. So then they, these swing open. Hopefully, I can do this one hand because sometimes they hit if you're not doing them both at the same time. More of my dies. I have a lot of dies, and again, I try to move these out when they retire because then I'm forever. Um, and again, a lot of these are missing because I have projects going. But here I've got, I replaced all of my ink pads, and I have, um, I had two sets of the old style. So I gave one set to my daughter. So now I have, I gave her one full set of the old, and so I kept one of the old sets because you know, some colors are your favorites. When my husband designed this, originally we had the fat um, Big Shot dies, so we don't have those anymore. And you know, 
bless his heart, he doesn't quite understand how this works, even though I've been doing it for 25 years. It's like, how many of these do you have? Yeah, honey. How many punches do you have? Um, yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, they just don't get it, do they? Um, more dies over here. Yeah, even with that, um, when he did this and he put the these on, I'm like, yeah, that's not going to be enough. He's like, well, how many of those metal things could you possibly have? Well, yeah, I have a lot. So he did this, which I'm going to have to move my chair. It stays open more than it stays closed. And there's lights in it. So in the winter, or if I'm working at night, which when I was, um, you know, I, I know a lot of you think, oh, I wish I could do this during the day because you work, which I worked for 10 years, so I'm right there with you. I worked um, at a bike shop, I worked at a warehouse in admin and rub stuff, so I've worked. Um, and so I did this, he had to put the can lights in. So then this also lights up so I could see in here because I had to do all of my stamp stuff at night. But um, he did these two doors with the magnet. And I'm like, yeah, that's still not gonna be enough, honey. Um, and I have maybe three more things coming from the holiday mini and they just introduced the snowflake set and that thing looks like it has a ton of dice. So you can see when all the mini ones come out, I'm going to be hard pressed to get them on there. But, um, so originally these were designed for the fat Sizzik dies that we have. We no longer have those. Um, and then this is what he gave me for my punches. That wasn't quite enough um, but I make it work and you know we rotate things in and out I do try to keep this current I I see there's stuff up in here that's not current but you know some of that I like um, these not current where is it not current but I love those so there's stuff in here that I just I know they're not current but if I scrapbook I like to have those or if I send um, messages I see my um, like this. I don't know if that's not current. We have the um, stamp apparatus now, so who knows, but it has all my paper, and you can see my paper is by color family. Um, my ink pads are not, so I may switch the paper over. I um, worked with Mary Merlot the other day, and on top was this. And I'm like, I don't think that's Mary Merlot. <laughs> so I pulled out the one that wasn't open. I'm like, yeah, that's a Mary Merlot. This is Blackberry Bliss. I have not learned the new colors yet. When you've done this for as long as I have, uh, the colors, uh, oh, it's been like one color change too many for me. So even now, I'm like, I don't know what colors we have all the time. But I will show you. I'll grab a dye over here. Here, let's grab one I haven't even used yet. I bought these when the catalog was new, and I have not used them yet. Then I have these, um, and as I start getting ready for camps, these are what I take downstairs um, when we have camp. And I bought these at one of our local grocery department kind of store things called Meyer. if you're in the Midwest. Um, one side was a chalkboard, and one side was a whiteboard. And I just bought magnet sheets, the same magnet sheets that um, I lined those with. And then I just stick those on here. Um, so I actually have two of these. One, um, so if I'm working two camps ahead, like right now while I'm doing October and November camps. Um, so that does kind of help a little bit when those start to get congested. At one point I had this great idea that I would write like the name of the set um, and how many pieces were in it and that I was going to keep them um, like together. Yeah, that doesn't work <laughs> because they're always over here. Um, and I'm always just trying to find space over there. So I think that's really pretty much my little space of the world. This is how I would like my table to be while I'm designing. Um, but more often than not, I get my camera, um, holder is on the table and it does take up room because I would like to design on this side of my table but obviously I like to film with that being the backdrop if I'm in camera so I got tired of switching round and round because 
if I'm not in the camera, then it can film this direction because you don't see the wall. But I got tired of, you know, moving stuff around all the time. Just is a waste of time. So I've started sitting on that side of the table more than I used to. I used to, when I worked and I was hardly ever in camera because by the time I got home, it was almost always dark, especially if, you know, we swam or we did stuff as a family person. I filmed at night. Um, then I had a different, I just had my little camera light because then I could drop my camera down um, closer to my thing. So I just always sat on this side and my table was all pushed over there. So it was a little bit of a different setup. So you just work with what you have um, space wise. If I showed you my eBay room, you would die because if you think this is a lot of stuff, I haven't um, really posted or sold anything for a long time because to sell stuff, to price stuff to sell um, at your events just takes a lot of time. Um, and I have not had the time to do that. So I've got, I think, like three years of accumulated retired stuff over there. So I have a lot. Um, so this is my little corner of the world. As you can see, it's my happy place. And it's also probably makes um, the family of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods very happy. <laughs> because when I go in there, I find a lot of stuff. Oh, I will show you these up here. Um, these are little, because I know sometimes these end up in a random um, Facebook Live and people ask me about them. These are um, just little, oh, well, they're not little because they're eight, eight and a half by 11 pictures. Um, so they're, no, that's a good shot in the sun. Um, they are chunks of old wood that my husband dyed, and then those are antique clips that I found at an antique store. So he just dyed them, and then we can switch the pictures out, which was my theory that I would do them seasonally, mm, and I've done that once. I do do them at Christmas time, but those are pictures from when, um, this is Ljubljana, which is near where our family home is. My fa husband's family is from there. My husband's actually from Australia, but his father was from Slovenia, which then was Yugoslavia before the war. His mom was from Italy. So this was our last trip to Italy and Slovenia. Yeah, I haven't switched the pictures out. Um, but the idea was, was that I could um, switch pictures out with some artwork. Um, the idea is really that if um, I go on a Stampin' Up! Incentive trip, that those could be up there and I could put those pictures on there. And then um, I know sometimes this is also in pictures. This is this is an antique enamel basket. And then this one is not. It's a reproduction. So people have asked me about those too. Oh, and then I was going to show you just because who wants to see a stamping video without cards? You can see the mess. Um, they are at, the shoebox swap last night, It, my project and my daughter's project were up here. So that way I didn't have to carry anything up. So this is my project, which you will have seen. I do have a video for this up. It's not up yet. Obviously, I have not filmed it. But by the time I'm going to post this video, to post while we are on vacation. So this will be up. Um, these are the other shoebox swaps that I got that I didn't. So that's my girlfriend's. She actually got the grease. She's the one that's going to grease. Um, I actually, I switched hers. I didn't get them all finished, you know, when you're host. You have a lot of other stuff you're kind of doing. So I finished hers this morning, so I switched the background because I think that we might do this. It's beautiful. Might make that a November camp project. And this one is real fun. She did a little, um, she used the, the shadows are playing. She used the blue embossing mat that just does the texture. And then it's a little, let's switch hands. Oops. Yeah, this is stuck because I accidentally stuck it, but I'm going to fix it. It is fixed, but I didn't do the adhesive remover. It's a little flip-up card. Then we had two truck cards. Cute as can be. How cute is that buffalo um, check on the bread? And then the vintage little truck there. And look at that little bow. I don't have that set, but I think the girl sold me on it. Then somebody else did my angel. 
That one was super simple and beautiful. And here she made, um, she stamped all of the sheets of paper so we would have some homemade designer series paper. And then we ran it through the puzzle and some of the pieces are popped up. And then we have, um, this is the second, the one that went down there uses the gold and these are the silver. So these are the pre um, done cards and envelopes that are the silver and gold. I know that you might have missed those in the catalog, but look how beautiful this one is. And that was super simple. And here's the other trap card. So if you are in the Indianapolis area and you are a demonstrator, when I host these shoebox swaps, you don't have to be in my group to come to a shoebox swap. Um, so if you're interested in finding out about those, just let me know. This was my daughter's. I haven't done it yet either. And I'm going to ask her if she minds if I film it. How cute is that? Those are all popped up. So I didn't do hers yet. And then I did R2 up here so I didn't have to clean ours up. So there's some cards for you. Because who wants to see just a room, right? So that's what I have for you today. Have a great day. Bye.